Hi everyone, welcome back to Chad Gray Outdoors. Today we will be discussing only two trees. Um, it will be the sugar maple and also the American beech tree. Uh, we'll go through and we'll show you uh, the bark, the leaves, we'll talk about it. I'll put at the bottom of the screen here, I'll put the, the true name of the tree. Um, if you have any questions about it, you can comment at the bottom. I'm not going to tell you right out flat that I can uh, give you all the answers and any questions, but if you do have questions about it, um, don't hesitate to ask. Also, like I said in uh, one of my prior videos, this is a series of uh, videos that we are doing about trees and their descriptions. Um, and also we are in northwestern Pennsylvania, so we will not be getting all of the trees of Pennsylvania or the United States or other countries just because we don't have access to it. So we'll, we're strictly sticking to our, our backyard right here in northwestern Pennsylvania. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. The first tree that we are going to be talking about is a sugar maple tree. The sugar maple tree's leaf is three to five inches long in length. It, it is pointed tips and it is yellowish green. That is how you can tell that is it, that it is a sugar maple tree. The bark is a gray color. Narrow furrows and irregular ridges can be scaly too. The maple tree's height is 50 to 70 feet tall. Single trunk, ascending branches, narrow round to oval crown. Sugar maples are the source of maple syrup and maple sugar. It takes approximately 40 gallons of sap to make a single gallon of syrup. Also known as hard maple, it's extremely hard wood, is used in furniture, flooring, and cabinets. The next tree we're going to look at is the American beech tree. The leaf is an oval shape, 2 to 5 inches long, eternally attached, long pointed tip, straight parallel veins, each ends in sharp shallow tooth, leathery dark green above, lighter green below. The average height of a beech tree is between 60 and 80 feet. It's a medium to large tree, a short, thick single trunk branching to close ground. Branches often droop to the ground. It is a light gray and stays smooth often. Squirrels, grouse, bear, raccoons, deer, and many other animals eat the abundant and edible beech nuts. Grows in mixed deciduous forests with oaks and maples. So just a couple quick things before the video is over. Um, if you would like to learn about a certain type of tree, go ahead and comment below. Put in uh, if you want to learn about an ash tree or a pine tree or a cherry tree uh, and then I can start uh, prepping for videos like that then we can uh, go out and find one and we'll videotape it and uh, hopefully hopefully you learn from this a lot of it is uh, just knowledge out of a book that someone else wrote so we're just kind of stealing someone else's writing uh, it's probably a little easier than googling it and looking it all up um, Haley do you have anything else to add well, I just really hope that they like this video, and I hope that they learned a lot from this video today. We also will actually start um, doing a scrapbook. So we will save some of the leaves and create a scrapbook out of all the trees that we find. Just to, you know, maybe when Haley decides to go back to school after this COVID-19 thing is over, she can present to one of her outdoor teachers and what she did during the summer and what she learned so even if you don't learn from these videos then we will be learning even though like i said we know about some of these trees but some of these trees we don't know much about uh in our little area right here we might only have certain trees like maple or oak or uh beech so when we get out of the, our little area and we find different types of trees and we will learn about them also I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Chad Gray Outdoors. If you want to watch more of these uh, tree videos, then go ahead and watch. Um, also, uh, once in a while, I might do a bonus video for uh, plants if there are certain plants around the area that I, that I do like to uh, 
look at, such as fern. I'm a big fern uh, fan, so um, I would myself like to learn about the different types of ferns that we have here in uh, northwestern Pennsylvania. So I will find those, um, and then I will do a bonus video. If you would like to see something like that, let me know. All right, thank you for watching. Bye.